Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm bringing you guys, I think, the third upload of today, and I've still got some more coming out later on today. I'm going to be talking about the brand new game modes in FIFA 17. If you didn't know, there are going to be two new game modes on the new game, and these are amazing game modes, which really are going to help people play the game more, and keep people playing the game, and not get bored of playing FIFA for months and months so it's really going to make FIFA a lot more enjoyable to play and add a lot more depth to the game and there are some awesome rewards and prizes that you can win using these new game modes so I'm going to show you guys both of the trailers and then I'm going to have kind of a breakdown of both trailers so first up we have got the brand new foot champions game mode So that was the first game mode, but there is another one to come. I'm going to be talking about both of these once this trailer here that I'm about to show you is over. And the next trailer is for brand new squad building challenges. So those are the two brand new trailers for the two game modes coming to FIFA 17. Now talking about the first one which is going to be Foot Champions. Basically there is going to be a tournament and if you win that tournament then you will qualify for the Weekend League. Now the Weekend League is uh, going to be 40 games. You play those 40 games and depending how many wins you actually uh, win then it's going to give you a different rank and going to qualify you in a different part of the Weekend League which will give you different rewards depending obviously the higher you get the better the rewards you get now the highest reward you can get from what we've seen is 250,000 coins which is insane as well as a variety of different packs which is really really cool uh, obviously getting more rewards just for playing the game which in my opinion is how FIFA should be if you play the game a lot you should get a lot back from the game so I think there is also once you uh, if you manage to get high enough in the weekend league you can potentially qualify for monthly leagues uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that but I seem to remember someone talking about that in the uh, stream yesterday from Gamescom. And also, I think if you get in the top 100, then you can potentially qualify for uh, eSport events with up to £1.3 million of prize money available. EA said that on the stream yesterday. At Gamescom, uh, there is going to be more kind of links between competitive FIFA and eSports and just you playing FIFA. So if you're good enough, then you can get into those tournaments to then play for real money. Uh, not just for FIFA coins or packs and stuff like that. So it's really cool in my opinion. Uh, obviously getting a lot more just from playing the game. Which uh, as I said is how FIFA should be. It's going to vary though. If you win for example just 5 games or something. In one of those lower divisions. If you win like 5 games. And you're in the lower tier. Kind of the bronze tier. You're still going to get like 10 or 15,000 coins. If you win all 40 you're going to be in the very very top tier. And uh, if you win all 40, it actually showed that, showed that, I don't know if that was winning all 40, but it was winning a certain amount of games. You actually got a Royce card, which was a brand new kind of card design. It was a red and gold kind of card, which is a brand new card there. And I will put a picture on screen right now of a selection of new cards that EA have actually shown us, which are pretty cool. There are a whole load of cards. No one really knows too much about them yet. There is one which uh, is purple, I believe, which I will be talking about later on in the video, I do believe. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit more and also uh, just at the end of that trailer we do also see a brand new kit which could be a kit that you either win for winning division one maybe for winning a tournament or also for winning uh, maybe the daily tournament or something like that but you are going to have daily knockout tournaments 
uh, as you can see on screen right there and they're going to have different kind of uh, requirements so different kind of teams that you will need to enter them uh, which is pretty cool it's going to mean people are going to make more creative kind of teams to enter into the uh, into those tournaments to potentially qualify for the weekend league and uh, yeah in my opinion really really cool new kind of addition to the game rewarding you for playing the game so you're going to get untradeable players free packs and coins and all of those things just are, are like really good obviously if you're good at the game you're going to be able to get a ton of free stuff a ton of free players a ton of free packs uh, and uh, yeah it just really rewards kind of the player rather than the buyer which is a really cool thing which uh, ea should have done probably on earlier fifas but having it now is awesome as you can see there there are a whole load of different kind of daily knockout tournaments you can enter and they'll have different requirements to enter them so you can enter ones maybe with like a bronze or silver team for some of them and then some of them may may need for example a certain number of players over a certain rating or something like that or you need a higher squad rating a certain kind of um, chemistry stuff like that there's going to be different kind of requirements which is pretty cool but yeah that is the brand new foot champions game mode so let's move on to the new game mode which is squad building challenges so moving on to the next one which is squad building challenges and this is the one i'm most looking forward to because if you do watch my channel you will know that i do a lot of squad builds on my channel and I really like squad building. I build a lot of no links wasted and very creative teams. Teams with like five or six leagues in and lots of nations and stuff using players who I wouldn't normally use, but I like kind of mixing them in some teams to, just to see how they play because you never know, you could find a hidden gem or something like that. So this game mode here is perfect for me because it's going to require you to build lots of interesting teams and actually gain rewards from doing it. So you guys actually saw in that trailer uh, that you had to complete, I think it was uh, an MLS team, and you just had to put MLS players into that team. The players then get taken away from you, but then you get given a reward. So for example, if you open a load of bronze packs and you get a load of bronze MLS players, you're not really going to want to use them. They might not sell, but you can simply swap them into that team you put them into that team and then it's going to get swapped for a player i think it was uh, a david via with actually a new type of card and i will talk about some different cards at the end of the video because the new card designs were leaked uh, well they weren't a leak they, they were actually announced by yay but there are some actually actually some new ones um which we haven't seen on any previous fifas there are some new types of cards which i will be showing you and we'll be talking also about a brand new feature which yeah are going to be bringing into the game from the beginning which is going to be really cool for trading which again i think trading is going to be a really big thing next year as well because player prices are going to be quite high because quite a few people are going to be getting a large amount of coins the better players are going to have a large amount of coins from actually playing the foot champions game mode but uh, talking still about this squad building challenge um, basically there's going to be a whole whole bunch of different categories for building your team so there's going to be maybe MLS challenges hybrid challenges hybrid nation challenges where you have to build a team that's got uh, maybe a certain number of nations a certain number of uh, leagues it's got to have a certain chemistry or it's got to have more than a certain chemistry and it's got to have a certain rating so it's going to really challenge you to building better and better teams now uh, later on in these kind of challenges when you get higher and higher up you're going to maybe have to build a higher rated team so you're going to have to uh, basically lose some of your high rated players but you can get a really nice reward from obviously doing that I think you got a David Villa in this case for um, swapping out a load of your MLS players, but it's just really good. Uh, it kind of gives you a much more of an incentive to open packs because you're not just going to discard everything you get. You might pack just like a random player who plays for Colorado Rapids and um, normally just discards him, but then you might be like, oh, well, I need him for my MLS Colorado Rapids squad builder hybrid challenge. You'd need to get him, put him into your Colorado Rapids team, which you'd have to complete. It's kind of like a collection book, but you can actually buy the players. Uh, so, yeah, it is pretty cool. You're going to be able to do that, and then you can actually swap them out. You're going to lose those players, but then you will get an even better reward, which is really good. Also, it's pretty cool if you come up against an, an opponent, and they see that you've got maybe a whole load of these kind of untradeable. They might, might even be tradable. I doubt they will be, but you've got a whole load of these special cards, which you can't actually get in packs in your team they're gonna know that you know about the game you know how to build teams and they will then go and try it out as well so it's a really cool kind of feature gonna give you a lot of free war rewards and uh, give you a lot of cool stuff which uh, in my opinion is an awesome and new thing from EA but that is the two new game modes talked about but there is also some brand new features now the first one is something that EA just kind of skimmed over in the stream they didn't talk about it too much but uh, I do kind of know a bit about it and basically there is going to be a new type of card, and EA are going to announce this quite soon. There's going to be a new type of card with a specific team at the beginning of FIFA. 
And now this team is going to have some of the biggest transfers from this season with the likes of Pogba and Ibrahimovic. And they're going to have a specific card which if you buy will upgrade itself in your club or downgrade itself. So basically this means that if you've got maybe Rashford at the beginning of FIFA 16 when no one really knew about Rashford. But if he had someone like Rashford he'd be very low rated worth hardly anything at all. So you'd easily be able to pick him up. However he would go massively up in rating towards the end of the game when obviously he became very good in real life so you can kind of select a hidden gem that you think may be really good this season so it's kind of a bit like fantasy football kind of seeing which players you think will play well and it's also kind of good for people who have football knowledge you know about football it kind of rewards people like that because if you select say Jamie Vardy is another example you got him at the beginning of FIFA 16 when he wasn't really that known uh, he wasn't scoring that many goals if you got someone like Vardy They'd be low rated, you'd be able to get him for cheap, but his card would upgrade in your club as he played very well in real life, and you'd then be able to sell it on prof for profit. So that's a really cool kind of trading thing, which I think I'll probably do a video on when it does come out, because that's a really effective way of making coins. Uh, you don't have to go and pick up, pick up like a, a Pogba or something like that. Pogba would be really expensive because people would expect he would play well, but then say he flops, his price will go down and people will lose money on him. So it's going to be quite cool because you're going to have to be really quite kind of uh, knowledgeable about football to actually know who to pick up. And there's going to be maybe some hidden gems who are going for like 10,000 coins and they're like 65 rated and then they might go up to being an 80 rated player and their price would go up to like 200k and you could sell them on. So that's a really cool new thing which uh, I think I've pretty much kind of explained how it works. No one really knows too much about it. EA just kind of talked about it for about a minute. Um, so yeah, they will probably be announcing more on that in the future. But that is a pretty cool thing in my opinion and it's going to be pretty good for trading. Trading is going to be really good in my opinion on FIFA 17 as will Squad Builders. So those are going to be the two main things I do on my channel. So um, yeah, this has been the end of the video. I've been talking about the two new game modes. I did a video earlier on talking about the official new legends on the game. Which is pretty cool. There are a load of new legends, which uh, including some very, very good ones. And also, I'm going to be doing a video later on today on new celebrations and uh, some new skill moves on the game, which is pretty cool as well. So, if you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video, take care.